now on the show as we give you a look inside Guaranteed Rate Field in Chicago. It's game one of the World Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Chicago White Sox. It's the Fall Classic, Game 1 of the World Series. Next. Here now is Trey Turner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Trey Turner. The Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a looper to left. Mendick ranging into the outfield. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Here's Mookie Betts. As he'll take a look at ball one. Past history with Lucas Giolito. He's gone three for eight. Ball the strike. Nobody out runner on first. Pitches a circle change that hits the target one and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So a runner at first with one out now. Striving to the plate will be Corey Seager. Now a throw over. A dive, but he's back. Wisely, another look to first. And the runner back. Yet another check on first. And he'll dive back in. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh, exercise. Runner goes for second. In there. Now the throw. Not going to get him as he swipes second. Spin and a throw back to second. And the runner back safely. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you, in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Change of speed there, but it's taken for a ball two and two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now at the plate, here is Justin Turner, who takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Set and the pitch. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1-0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Hamilton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. Hamilton. Ball in track. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. 
And it's gone. Into the box now. Leury Garcia. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. If you're on the mound right here, you've got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Two and one to count. Into the windup and the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Pollock has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. Lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's just one for six. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. A ball and a strike now to Jose Abreu. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. Even now, two and two. Here's the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Not in four. And now, right Luis Robert looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Now the 2 0 -oh home. You know, all the pitchers I talked to throughout the course of my career, they always said they wanted to establish the heater the first time through the Whoa, order. Right there, he kind of took a different route, thrown a nasty changeup. The 3 1. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of a steal when he's on base. No left field. Andrew. First pitch on the way. Andrew Vaughn is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0, and oh, using the slide step to try to control the running game. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off no, because no. you're worrying about that runner on base. Two balls and no strikes to the White Sox left fielder. Down low, and the three. plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Up in the strike zone, but the take sign was on three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the Please fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. High set by Kershaw. Now the pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. And Mookie will make the play, and that retires the side. All set for the start of the inning, and that brings up Will Smith. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, yeah. one. Smith is a player referred to as clutch by teammates, coaches, and of course the media. He seems to find himself in pressure situations often, and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. It just appears he really relishes the big spot. So bases are empty with one out now, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. 
swing and a miss and needs a little discipline here 0 and 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. One ball and two strikes to count. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. He went with the off speed there once he got up to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And there's out number two. Next for the Dodgers, A.J. Pollock. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Keeping it down here as it's one, to one and two. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Jake Berger. The third baseman. Here's the first pitch to him. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes, and the stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind 0-2, good luck. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jake Berger becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. The pitch. Shoots this one over to first. Right to him. A shuffle over to Kershaw covering to record the out. So next to hit is Zach Collins. Try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch of the A.B. now. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three two. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Stepping in, Gavin Lux. First offering on its way. And it takes ball one. And that one yanked just foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And he hey. takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. Back to the top of the order now, and in the bat is Trey Turner. First pitch of the AB now. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Off-speed pitch Two in balls. the dirt no, as he takes it for a ball. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first oh, base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Turner's on his horse on his way to second. Little chopper back to the mound. 
throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Here's Corey Seager, runner in scoring position with Sagan. Now the first pitch. Turner stands at second with two gone. The pitch has circle changed just a bit inside, and it's 2-0 now. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk would be the worst thing in this spot. 2-1 now. and two strikes to Corey Seager. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Bottom of the third now, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Danny Mendez. The shortstop. First offering. Mendes. On the ground near home. But that one rolls oh, foul. foul. Mendez swings and throws from the right side and stands at 5'10". He was taken in the 22nd round back in the 2015 oh, MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Counts a ball and two strikes to the White Sox shortstop. Good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order moving. And another foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. Four, and now. good patience exercise as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in the hit next, the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. Muncy is there, one away. Stepping up is Leori Garcia, over one here in the early going. First pitch of the AB on its way. Fouled off. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. Swing and a liner. In there, the base hit. The hold at second, and there are two aboard now. Here's Jose Abreu as Kershaw will get the upper hand here with strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he goes the other way, but he got a lot of it deep down the line. Betts back to the track as he takes it for out number two. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. The batter will be Luis Robert, and they're runners at the corners now. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Comes set. The 0-1. Runners on first and third, two away. Down low, it's two and one. A time 
to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Kershaw's slide one over to first. Don't want to forget about it. The 2-2. Two -two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. A 2-2 pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Now to the plate, here is Cody Bellinger. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few A-Bs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. 1-0 and oh, the count. Two balls and no strikes. The count to the Dodgers center fielder. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. I got two on the Here's the two-one home. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three-one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Hit in the air down the left field line. Long run for the left fielder. He can't get there in time. And now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And now Justin Turner. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder is on the run. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Here now is Will Smith. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. And a changeup no, runs no. inside on him as he's got to back out of the way of that one. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. Robert is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. So, man, it's second here with two away. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitter, Max Muncy. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Comes set the 0-1, and he pulls the string on the circle change, but it's taken for ball one. And he misses two and one. One run, four hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Andrew Vaughn, the next to bat. No left field. And she'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Off the plate, one, one ball, one strike. So 1-1 one, one home. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. He's got it one away. Next, here is Jake Berger. He went down on strikes in his last half. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. he got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. He lays off again, and it's 2-0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. And that first A.B., 
He went down on strikes. That's ball three. Nope. Three and oh. And that's, that's outside. He lost in ball four. Digging in, the switch hitter, Cesar Hernandez. Nothing he bounced hitter. out last time up. Yeah, how do you expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here? The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they can certainly roll to it. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Giving chase is Bellinger. He makes the running play. Two down. Stepping in next, Zach Collins. Struck out in his first at bat. Set. Here it comes. And one the ball, 1 0. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. A ball and a strike. One ball, one that strike. was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad back barrel accuracy. 1 1. Makes him swing and miss on a ball, ball out of the zone for strike two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up A.J. Pollock. The left fielder, number 11. AJ. First offering oh. on its way. And a check swing here, but he clearly game. went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fouled away. Here's another 0 2. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. Great textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? High and deep down the left field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer him dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So bases are empty with one gun, and up next will be Gavin Lux. And the pitch. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. And it falls behind now, 2-0. Fifth inning, 2-1 to one our score. And this is poured in at the letters. Two and one now. I could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Collins finds it. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Back to the top of the order now. And that will bring up one of the fastest players in all the land, Trey Turner. First pitch on its way. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back, but this guy can handle the bat. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's That's one and two. Whoa, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. Now, a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. High in the air out to center field. Hamilton is under it, and he makes the catch to retire the side.
for the bottom of the fifth. And Lee stepping up is the shortstop, right. Danny Mendick. Shortstop. Now here's the first offering. Hey. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Ball one. Yeah. One one home. A ball and two strikes now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Pitch popped up. Muncy is over and he puts it away for the first down. So it's back to the top of the order now. And in to hit next, the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he'll start things out with a change up here, but this is a bit too tight. It's ball one. On the corner away, a ball and a strike. One and two, the count to Billy count Hamilton. One and two. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Throw on the first to take care of him, and Kershaw's in control now, two away. So next to bat will be Leury Garcia. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. And that's in there, base hit. So that means Jose Abreu will come to the play here. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Speed pitch taken for a ball. Strike taken up in the zone. Looks like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Count remains two and two. string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Next up is Justin Turner. From the stretch. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. One and one to count. Look, now the pitch lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And 
and he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up Will Smith. From the stretch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Fastball called for strike two. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Two for hand, quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. As a look, now the pitch. That's Just off three. the outside as he can't catch the corner. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch before an end of the inning. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now. But this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. That's ball three. Got through the fifth, all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the set. Next to stand in is Luis Robert, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. One ball, no strikes to count. Well, that's six straight balls here to begin the inning, so I think it's a good time to head to the mound and try to slow him down a little bit. A lot of times when guys aren't throwing strikes, they're rushing through their delivery. Ah. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Abreu aboard here at first with nobody out. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. Over to Muncy and they double him up. So base is empty now after the double play. Standing in the rookie outfielder, Andrew Vaughn. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ball one. Inside, ball one. One run on three hits. And no errors so far for the White Sox. Ball two. And that's too high. Ball two. Two to, to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Aye. Tight break with the slider there. Catches the inside for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. And he fouls this one off. Now Kershaw delivers a 2-2. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the yes. third strike. And the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. The first baseman, Max. First delivery to him. Right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. He'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0-0, oh, oh, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0-1 than 1-0. Pulled toward right center field. Hamilton is under it. Makes the play one away. So the next to bat will be A.J. Pollock. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. 
Yeah, this is straight survival no mode. Down 0-2. No the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Lifted down the line and left. Vaughn is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. Up next the batter will be Gavin Lux. He's been a strikeout Gavin. victim twice in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Off the plate, Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. And Seven, this two, ball and runs one. away for ball two. Two and one. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And a speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Okay, so take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two one strikes ball, two now. Strikes, yeah. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And he oh, lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. the inning it'll be Jake Berger and they could use a spark from him here the third baseman now hey. here's the pitch Berger. well that's off the plate into his wind up here comes the 1 0 here's a swing and a miss one, one and one. one time run stands on deck but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base yeah and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now Matt he can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Hit on the ground out for short. He's got it. Throw on the first in time, one away. Next to dig in, Cesar Hernandez. Over a two from him so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Just misses off the inside for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. Pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And it's fouled away. Did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Now got it. So Definitely. now into the box is yeah. Zach Collins. He was oh. sat down on strikes in his last at bat. A ball and no nine. strikes. Oh, hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. Skied into very shallow right. Betts has a read on it. And that will end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. Yeah, Matt, going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Nope. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. There's a swing.
wing and a missile sent out to center field. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. Here's Corey Seager. At the ball. Fastball here as we'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's two for three and looking for more here. Swing and this one and one. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he passed ball right by him for the first down. Next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He went down on strikes last time up. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Fouled off. Left side, but well fouled. One, two. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Cody Bellinger is retired on strikes for the third time tonight. First pitch on its way. Justin Turner is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Awfully close to the slider there, but it's one and one. Slider, but he holds off three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favorite three and one. There's ball four. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Will Smith is the batter now as he looks at a ball of one and oh. Hey, if you know an umpire has a tight zone. As a hitter, you tighten your zone as well. No reason to go after the borderline pitches unless you really have to. 2 0 now. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Next up is Max Muncy. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. That pole getting a little deeper now. It's 2 0. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in their reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. 2 1. and two strikes now. Turner on second. Smith on at first with two down. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Uh, two two. Three. Japanese and called strike three. So a new pitcher is set to enter the ball game right now, and it's the converted catcher, the hard-throwing right-hander, Kenley Jansen. So stepping in is Danny Mendick, hopped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here, you would stride to the plate for this A.B., trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path of the ball. Can't continue to swing under those elevated heaters. Set. Here's the 0-1. At the ball. And 
and he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first, and no one will get this one. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count four now. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on the three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. Down the left field line and deep, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Full count pitch home. Drilled to the left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm. A base hit. Billy Hamilton digging in now. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. He's working on a 1-3 for three thus far. And it's one and one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. I'll oh, straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east-west consistently with a great cutter two-seamer combo. Weak roller right side. And indeed, he won't try to force it at second. He'll just flip on to first for the shoe route. Now Digging in will be Leori Garcia. He's got to get on base any way he can with that possible tying run behind him in the on-deck circle. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ball one, no play. The 1-0. -oh. He's taken strike one. Well, that's just a nice executed pitch right there. To have the confidence to go in, pound it inside. If he's got that, this team's in trouble. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Two and two. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Three-two pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Next, it will be Jose Abreu. He's over two in the ballgame so far. First pitch on its way. With some traffic on the base pass, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. And there's ball one. First and second now, one man out. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Ball, that's and that's upstairs, running the count to three and one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting a fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Mendick rounds third and is digging for the plate. He scores as the lead is cut to four to two now. Joe Kelly takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. The 
next batter will be Luis Robert. He grounds it sharply to third. And the score is the runner from third. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Into the box. Andy Vaughn. Face knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Now here's the first offering. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Well, this is two and all. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Two balls and a strike. Plate and low, so it's three and one now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out. Uh-oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line and left hooking, but it's a fair ball, home run. Up next to the right side, the third baseman. Standing in now, Jake Berger, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Well, yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. So to the plate is the White Sox D. Cesar Hernandez. Lifetime versus Joe Kelly. He's just one for six. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Help one and oh. Guide into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. And that's the third out. Safe situation coming up now as they'll entrust Greg Kimbrell with the baseball here as he'll try and close things out. AJ Pollock in charge with trying to start a rally in the ninth as they go to work against Kimbrell. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Now the 1 0. Is looked at for the first strike. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like you're stung by a pack of wasps. This pitch is popped up. A brilliant. He's calling for it. Makes the play one away. Now the bat, Gavin Lux singled in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Ball one, no touch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. You tried to get that one airborne, but it's one and two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. He set and the pitch. No balls and a strike to count.
good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. After that off balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0 2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. Count is 1 and 2 now. The Dodgers down to their final strike. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Just over 47,000 on their feet now here on the south side. Our final line score tonight, 